Taurus. Welcome to your spirit messages reading for April. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you and welcome. So Taurus, I'm bringing back this reading. I had discontinued it for a while. If you're familiar with my channel, I did it at the end of last year into the beginning of this year. And I stopped, but I had a poll on my channel, on my community uh, section, that you could vote what kind of readings you'd like to see. And this was part of um, some of the top voted videos. So I'm bringing it back. So leave me some feedback below how you like this reading. I'll be continuing it for a while here. And I'll still be doing the love readings, the general readings. I'm bringing back the singles reading readings, and I'll probably be keeping the bonus readings also. So let's see what we get here for you, Taurus. And I hope this resonates for you. And I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's staying safe during this time. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter. You can be male or female watching this. I would say take what resonates, but they will be messages. So if you feel like some of the messages don't resonate, then like I said, just take what resonates. So let's see what we have here for Taurus. What the spirit want to tell Taurus at this time for Taurus. I will be pulling three oracles from each deck, clarifying with tarot, probably like one tarot per card. And then at the end, I have, <coughs> sorry, actually this pre these uh, prayer cards I had um, purchased at the Dollar Tree, and there were two sets, and I mixed them together. So at the end, I will pull you up. Uh, Affirmation, prayer card, whatever, what you know, however you like to say it, I will pull you one of those at the end. All right. So everything you need to know is in the description box below. Um, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, your playlist, love in general are below. Um, if you'd like to send or a gift, tip, donate, reach out or whatever there, my uh, address is below. And also my PayPal link if you wish to exchange energy. If not, uh, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open for donations if you wish to. And if you do, thank you. So what do we have for Taurus Spirit, please, at this time? What do we have for Taurus? What messages? So we have realizations and epiphanies coming out. So let's get two more. Two more for Taurus, please. Thank you. And we have Courage. And we have end of an error. So what I'm getting with this, some of you <clears throat> may have uh, had a big realization, epiphany, aha moment that maybe something needs to come to an end, end of an error. It could be career, it could be a relationship, whatever here. Something I feel like for some of you, you just feel like, you know what? I think it's ran its course. I think it's over. I think I need to move on. But it's also telling you if you're afraid to have courage here to make this necessary change that you feel like um, you may need to make. All right, so what else do we have for Taurus, please? Thank you. You could have had an awakening with the realizations and uh, epiphanies, uh, having clarity about something here and realizing maybe it's just time now to move in a new direction in some way, shape, or form. But needing, maybe you need courage to do it. And Spirit's here to tell you that you do have courage and you can have courage to do whatever you feel is necessary for you. All right, so let's get three of these for Taurus, please. Thank you so much. In the end of an era, I mean, it could be people, places, things, situations, habits, um, addictions, obsession, I mean, it could be anything <clears throat> that you feel it's time to put an end to or go in a new direction or move on from. All right. What else here? We have balanced friendships. African Daisy, your friendships work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving. So that may mean uh, something for some here. If you haven't been communicating or reaching out or there hasn't been much communication or spending quality times with your treasured friends here, um, maybe time here. And we have new beginnings. This has been coming out a lot here. Um, Banks, Banksia, I think is how you say it. 
Take this as an opportunity to rise from the ashes stronger and more determined. So you do, you can have this courage for a new beginning to end, end an era and have a new beginning here. <clears throat> Maybe you have some good friends here can help you uh, in this process. What else for Taurus? Communicate with your angels, bird of paradise. You have faith. You have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others. So, hmm, that may be a separate message for some. Maybe you need to pray, meditate, connect with source here. Um, but it says you have the, the ability to connect with source. So maybe you, some of you have some spiritual gifts also and you're thinking about... Um, Ending something, going in a new direction. It could be career-wise. It could be a little side job or hobby or something like that. So maybe some of you are thinking about doing that. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get three of these for you, Taurus. <clears throat> so the first one there was the Butterfly Oracle. This is the flower therapy. This is earth magic. And like I said, they're listed below and also where you can purchase them. All right, so let's get three for Taurus. DNA karma. Whale breach. And let's get one more. Let's get one more. Lake stillness. So I feel like here, <coughs> sorry, that <clears throat> this breach here, something may need to be, uh, thinking how I want to say this, something maybe just need to let go of, um, here, or something needs to come out in the open so you can like let go of it. In some way, shape, or form. We do have karma here. So this could be DNA karma. I mean, it says DNA. Usually in this deck, it's about um, your ancestry, past life karma, DNA. I mean, everything linked to um, your heritage, your ancestry. Um, not only the physical DNA, but the um, emotional DNA. You know, all that kind of energy karma karmic energy that's all energy here so it could be good it can be bad some of you may need to breach karma from past lives from past uh from ancestors uh generations here may take stillness here to really especially with communicate with your angels maybe to pray meditate really think maybe even do research on your ancestry and your lineage and that whole thing and see where, what the patterns were, you know, what, what links you to your heritage and your DNA. And maybe there may need to be something here. Once you find out, maybe you can finally learn it and then let, like let go of it and change it and like breach it, just breach it out, I guess, um, for generations to come, if that makes sense. And I get like reflection with stillness here. Or maybe you need to, uh, some of you need to just get away. Well, it's hard right now, but you can go out in nature, go by the lake, you know, go for a walk or something like that. So we are going to clarify these energies with tarot. So I got um, a few different messages here. So again, um, take what resonates for you. And this also could be telling you that in the future, if you have not yet had what you feel is a realization or epiphany that may be coming up for you, you may need courage in the future to deal with something here, to make a change of some kind, end of an error. Era. And uh, it's also telling you if you've been out of communication or balance with your friends, you may need to, to uh, rebalance that out. But you do have some sort of new beginning here waiting for you, new beginnings coming in. Some of you need to communicate with your angels. 
<clears throat> maybe some of you just need to look into your um, ancestry here. All right, so let's get some clarity here for Taurus. I do ask Taurus, especially if you're new, if you like my channel, how I read, please feel free to check it out and uh, get five readings a month. So please feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment. Love to read the comments, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. Three swords. So this is heartache and pain of some kind. It may take, something may happen here where you either get very hurt by something or someone or a situation here, and then it just kind of wakes you up. That, that may what be what happened or has happened. This could be past, present, or future. So there may be some sort of heartbreak or something very hurtful that has happened, could happen, or will happen that may kind of wake you up to make you have this big realization and epiphany that perhaps <clears throat> you need to make a change or end something here however that resonates for you so let's get actually i think i want to pull one more on the three of swords so why is that here for realizations and epiphanies oh, that's way too many that was like six cards there <clears throat> seven of swords so that sneaky deceitful kind of energy so somebody yeah somebody may do something here lie, cheat, steal, or just hurt you, or deceive you, or something here. It's really, really going to hurt you, and you may be ending a friendship, or something here, ending something here. Something may happen here that's very, uh, like, sort of like an injustice to you, so it could even be something in your work. It could be something with a friend, or a family member, or something where you're like, okay, you know what, this is the last straw. <clears throat> and then finally having the courage to end something here. So let's see what courage is about for you, Taurus. Nine of swords. So stress, fear, worry, anxiety. Yeah, you may have stress and fear, worry, anxiety over things um, to make changes or to stand up for yourself or um, anything like that. And this is telling you to have courage to do what you need to do even though you may be a little worried here. All right, so what's this end of an era here for Taurus? Eight of Pentacles. So this is putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. Some of you may be ending um, a long-term career that you've had because this is working hard. The Eight of Pentacles are all about career finance. Some of you may be been really, really working hard <clears throat> in your career, and it's kind of like, not going anywhere or it's the same thing day in day out and maybe just realizing here you know what maybe it's time for a change or you could be you know some of you yeah so now we have the five of pentacles that's the energy of abandonment left out in the cold uh, neglect loneliness kind of energy so again i feel like some of you feel like maybe because you go to the eight to the five like overworked and unappreciated or something like that so spirit's telling you now if you feel like this that maybe time to end this however that means for you so yeah judgment <laughs> making a final judgment call here decision judgment call on the situation okay so all right so let's see what balanced friendships are about for you taurus taurus nine of pentacles so it could be someone very single Maybe you're just concentrated on you. Like I said, maybe working a lot or just doing you, you, you. Nine of Pentacles, very independent, self-sufficient energy. So, you know, maybe you're just concentrated on you and you're not really making time for friends and family. And this is telling you you need to balance out that energy. All right. So new beginnings. What is that about for Taurus? King of Pentacles. So <laughs> this could be, you know... King of Pentacle energy, very grounded, stable, um, making your money, making, you know, good money is what I just heard. So maybe some of you here could be a boss and a business owner or something like that. This new beginning could be a new position. Um, maybe even changing positions where you are, or, you know, applying for a different position, or maybe just going for a whole new career and now being more stable and grounded and even more self-sufficient. 
and making even more money. And that's your new beginning. It's the king of pentacles. <clears throat> so what's this communicate with your angels? Four, four Taurus, please. Thank you so much. Three of pentacles. So that's teamwork, collaboration, uh, working together. So I think you need to work together with your angels. Like listen to you got your intuition, your higher knowing. Sit, relax, pr uh, pray, meditate, whatever you do here. Ask for messages for help. Whatever co thoughts come into your head. Um, just listen to probably messages from your spirit guides, your angel team. And you can also uh, search YouTube for meditative <clears throat> guided um, meditation to connect with these energies. So maybe some of you need to do that. All right. So what's this DNA karma? about for wow Taurus that's way too many so we have <clears> these <throat> stuck up together so these four of swords and the four of pentacles four of swords is very healing um, thinking contemplating uh, kind of solitary energy so is the four of pentacles not really giving or receiving just kind of you know keeping it for you and being stable. It's about your stability here. So I feel like if you, maybe if some of you like research your ancestry, if you don't know anything about your ancestry, I think it'll bring you a lot of healing <coughs> as to your lineage and um, all that energy. It'll make you uh, more stable here and understand better what is going on as far as that, if that makes any sense for you. So what is this whale breach about? All I keep hearing is like breach of contract, breach of contract. So if there's been uh, paperwork or some sort of contract that was breached or something, I'll watch out for that. I don't, I don't know, this is like breaking through, so, or breaking something. So let's see here. The Empress. So this is the birth of something new. This could be you just, you know, breaking out of your shell, breaking out of the norm. And the Empress, you know, gives birth to something new, knows value and worth kind of energy. So it can be, you know, that boss, CEO, owner, business owner, or something like that, Emperor Empress. So this could be you breaking out of the norm, breaking through, and like doing something totally different. So what is this stillness about for Taurus? Wow. Wow, <laughs> oh, there's one flying. All right, so this one was upright. So we have the Page of Swords. So that's about, can be about doing research. It can also be about honest, truthful communication or, you know, watching or something online. I feel like maybe, you know, if you take them some time for you, um, you know, rest, kind of like the Four of Swords here. Take some time for you. Be still. And maybe this could be you doing some sort of research online. You know, we're all kind of quarantined or isolated right now. So maybe it's telling you to take this time of stillness to do some research uh, that you've been wanting to do, gaining new knowledge. Uh, it's all about the mind. So like furthering yourself in some way, shape, or form with the uh, Page of Swords energy there. Or it could be communicating, you know, online, friends, family, that kind of energy also. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have the Five of Cups. So you could be feeling a little sad and melancholy, you know, right now for some reason over everything going on, you know, in the world today or um, whatever your situation is, the Five of Cups. So, all right, so what's under that? Just Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, patiently waiting. Patiently waiting for something, invest or not to invest in something. Just kind of waiting for your uh, the fruits of your labor here. Also, the high priestess <clears throat> under that, about listening to your gut and your intuition, your higher knowing, as with uh, communicate with your angels. So it's coming through. All right, Taurus, let's get one of these for you. Let's get a closing here affirmation for you 
Taurus. Can we get one for Taurus, please? Spirit. Okay, feeling that one. And we have here, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. So, you know, this is just giving thanks to people, places, things around you, or thanks to the universe for everything uh, that you have had, that you will have, all your blessings, your lessons, past, present, and future. And having, uh, being humble and gratitude for those things. Okay, Taurus, <laughs> best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.